are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 25th of November. I'm James Spann. It's Thanksgiving Eve and Alabama's weather getting very active over the next five to seven days. Multiple rounds of rain and storms, maybe some severe storms later today, then much, much colder next week. So a lot of things to talk about. Here we go. There's the upper look this morning. Pretty impressive trough approaching us coming through the southern Plain states, pushing a cold front this way. That was the radar this morning at 428. And you can see a weakening band of storms coming into Memphis and Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, that's the line that came through Oklahoma and Texas last night. A little few patches of light rain over West Alabama. This first batch will be weakening. More storms will redevelop this afternoon and this evening. And those are the ones that could be strong to severe. Nobody near freezing this morning with the south wind and clouds increasing. We've got mostly 50s on the map. High should be in the low 70s today. We do note we have wind advisories for much of Tennessee and parts of some of the adjacent states. It'll be windy around here today. We'll see south winds maybe gusting 25, 30 miles an hour this afternoon. A marginal risk of severe storms from the Gulf Coast up to parts of the Ohio Valley, including a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Areas in darker green. This is level one out of level five, marginal risk. Uh, they might consider an upgrade to a slight risk for parts of the area later today. We'll see how... The atmosphere looks after the balloons come in later this morning. And we'll talk more about the specifics on the threat here in just a second. So this is tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, for North Alabama, the day should be dry and mild. Uh, for South Alabama, maybe a few showers. A marginal risk of severe storms around Houston and Lake Charles. This is Friday. A marginal risk over parts of Texas, Louisiana, southwest Mississippi. We'll see another wave on the front, so... Uh, rain becomes likely Friday afternoon, Friday night for much of the state, but at this point, no severe storms expected. Then another wave will be in here Sunday, and again, we'll talk about that in just a second. So this is the rain for the next seven days. Uh, the heavier totals over Texas and Louisiana. For Alabama, uh, the amounts generally between one and a half and three inches. And again, uh, this carries us through Wednesday morning of next week. Tropics, hurricane season done in five days. Still got that little uh, disturbance that's uh, far to the southeast of Bermuda with a low end chance of acquiring tropical characteristics. If anything happens out there, that will not affect any landmass. So let's go right to modeling. This is the GFS, the 06C run at 4 o'clock today. There's your short wave passing north of us. Surface low south of Chicago with a trailing front down through Memphis. So let's go to the uh, high-res herd. This is valid this evening at 6 o'clock. The first batch of showers and storms this morning will weaken and fizzle out. This stuff redevelops. And it looks a little cellular, not necessarily a solid line. This is the shear, and again, we've known this. This will be pretty high. This is typical for systems this time of the year. And the instability values are not that impressive, but they've been coming up a little bit. Uh, so there's probably going to be a little sweet spot where the shear and the instability will be overlapping. And this is the STP, and the numbers are highest in parts of West Alabama, Tuscaloosa, Fayette, Walker, Pickens counties. And uh, understand, this is not like an April deal. Uh, if we do see a tornado this evening, it would be isolated and brief, much like the ones they had in Texas and Oklahoma last night in Arkansas. Uh, so again, maybe an isolated brief tornado in spots, but the main threat coming from small hail and strong gusty winds. And in terms of timing, I'd say the main window between about 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. Storm should weaken after 9 o'clock this evening. So again, just be weather aware. Don't expect a big severe weather day, but we all know when it comes to thunderstorms, yeah, expect the unexpected. Thanksgiving Day tomorrow for the northern half of the state, dry and mild. A mix of sun and clouds, highs around 70. Still a chance of showers over South Alabama for Thanksgiving Day, but even there it's not going to rain all day. So this is Friday. The next wave begins to uh, organize on the front west of the state. And this is Friday night. Uh, rain is likely statewide. And again, with this wave, don't expect any severe weather. Rain probably not too heavy. But again, clearly a chance of rain late Friday and Friday night. And then as that wave passes on by, it's going to nudge the front southward again on Saturday. This is Saturday and uh, looking mostly dry. For 
a pretty decent chunk of the state. That's great news for the Iron Bowl. The weather looking dry with temperatures in the 60s in Tuscaloosa Saturday. Now, Sunday, here comes the next wave on the front. And rain becomes widespread. This could be a pretty heavy rain event uh, Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. Again, this is the GFS depiction. This is the European depiction Sunday at 3 o'clock. It's got a surface low that's near Jackson, Mississippi, and we're just in a soaking rain here. Now, this is Sunday night at midnight. That surface low is around Haleyville, Alabama, under 1,000 millibars. And if this verifies, there could be a few strong to severe storms over the southern half of the state. But again, for most of the state, just a soaking rain. And this is Monday, back to the GFS, a very deep upper low digging down through here. Cold core upper low, yeah, weatherman's woe. Uh, surface low is up in Ohio. And uh, Monday could be a day with falling temperatures, the high uh, probably is going to be reached at 12.01 a.m. And temperatures falling steadily through the day with a biting north wind. Uh, north Alabama could wind up in the 30s Monday afternoon. This is Monday night. The uh, upper low kind of digging down in here, and this is suggesting it would be cloudy, it would be cold. Uh, there could be a few sprinkles or flurries. And then Tuesday... A very cold day. Uh, highs only in the 40s, maybe 30s up in the Tennessee Valley. A chance of flurries over Tennessee and Kentucky underneath the cold core upper low. But this will easily be the coldest air so far this season. This is a week from today. Uh, big trough over the eastern states, and that looks just uh, dry with a cool day and cold night. We'll uh, clearly be below freezing uh, Tuesday, Wednesday morning of next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 4th. Still got a trough on the East Coast, and again, that's kind of cold and dry. Uh, this is the snow output from the European Ensemble. We'd like to show you this, kind of give a sensible look at this. The, the European has 50 members in the Ensemble, and about 12, 13 show maybe a few snowflakes over the next 15 days, but the other ones do not. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about 3 inches for the next 15 days. And the numbers from the National Blend of Models. Again, that uh, high Monday, probably coming around midnight, will be falling all day. High Tuesday in the 40s, lows in the 20s by Tuesday morning. And again, these numbers will probably change. But the bottom line is that first half of next week looks pretty cold. And the CPC outlook, this is for December 2nd through the 8th, showing below average temperatures down here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. We are on a holiday schedule between now and Sunday, so just one video per day. We'll have some fresh notes on the blog this afternoon. Uh, and if you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.